So I've only had the Rivian for a few days and I just thought I'd talk about a couple of things that bother me because most things are freaking awesome. But there are a few things that are just kind of weird and maybe if some of you know how to do some of the things I haven't figured out yet, let me know. I totally understand why they do not have Apple CarPlay. I get it. But what I don't understand is how come I can't put favorites in my phone display so that I can quickly like, you know, call my wife or call my daughter or whatever I want to do. These are just recent calls and I don't see any other way to add any other details as far as how to group things. And if I do try to use voice commands, Alexa doesn't do it. Alexa, call Kendra Johnson. I couldn't find a contact matching Kendra Johnson. Do you know their phone number? Yes, it's sitting right on the screen in front of you. What's the phone number? Cancel. Cancel. So that's one little thing that bothers me and not a big thing at all, but it would be really nice if I didn't have to type in a phone number or look at it. Um, the other thing that's kind of unusual is how when you're driving and you're playing something on media or you're playing with the maps, that where the controls are on screen um, are at the other opposite end of the screen. Um, and I know I can use the uh, steering wheel to control things and I should probably more often, but if I wanna change things around, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm playing a really good song here and let's say I'm just driving and I want to actually like reach over and change the music. Now, I know that I have controls right here that I can go to the next song, I can go to the previous song and I can do the volume. But if I'm driving, just to give you some perspective, I have to go all the way over here if I want to forward it, which I get it. But also if I want to change the music, like the scrolling is over here and I can go to another song, which is fine. But that's one of the other things, like just the details. And then when I'm on a different screen, I do like how the music is there and I do like that I can flip to the side, but I wish it was over here. Why can't it be over here and just move everything over that way just a little bit? That's one thing. The other thing I've noticed is that it's a little bit laggy when it comes to noticing I'm coming up. So let me show you what I mean. And uh, basically I mean, it's slow to unlock. So I have the key fob. Now I'll go to the driver's side and try it again. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk up fast from this side. And really, that's about it. I mean, they're small little things and nothing is a, a deal killer at all. I can ask Siri to make the phone calls for me. Um, <laughs> I can use the buttons on the steering wheel to change the music and I can push a button to open the car. So um, I'm excited. It'll be fun to get used to it some more.